Hello everyone, welcome back to clubbrackets.com. Today I've got an exciting parcel from Yonix, the new Aeris Z. Now this is just a, a sample single shoe uh, from my local rep, but it's great they've sent it to me to have a look. Um, these are the new lightweight speed shoes from Yonix that will be available to purchase very soon. Um, they're available for pre-order now, but I'm expecting the stock to arrive in a few days time already had some great interest in these new shoes uh, sold four pairs on pre-sales already which is great when the country is full of people not playing badminton uh, they are the successor to the very popular Aeris 3 um, which are available in three colors now and selling really well the Aeris Z is an even lighter shoe so it comes in at 250 grams a shoe which is pretty ridiculous um, it's got all the features of the Aeris 3, but slight differences just to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so we'll look through them one by one. Uh, on the top, this top section round here, uh, there's no seams in it, apart from at the back. Um, and it feels really soft. If I have a look at the Aeris 3, it feels quite, quite tough on there. But on the Aeris Z, it's quite soft. It's quite a nice feel. Uh, again, it feels soft and comfortable inside. Uh, this is a really tiny size, so I haven't been able to put it on my foot. This is the men's colour, uh, the blue. The ladies' is a sort of pastel pink. Um, around this side, it's got a really nice toe guard section there for those of you who drag your feet um, on there and wear through that bit. That shouldn't be a problem. On the bottom, the sole is exactly the same as the Aeris 3. Um, got all the same sort of detailing and got the segmented power cushion in the rear I really like the uh, the segmented power cushion this is a, just a little display thing from Yonix um, what it does is when the foot drops onto the floor the different segments of power cushion just crush at different amounts and it keeps you really stable I think that was one of the biggest improvements in Yonix shoes recently and they always boast about you being able to drop an egg onto the power cushion without breaking it so it just as you hit the floor it absorbs all the energy and rebounds it into your footsteps so there we go a quick spin round the new air is set uh, now I'm just keen to get them on the, the weighing scales and see if they are actually as light as they say so I always like to check out manufacturers claims, see if they actually live up to the hype. So we'll start off with a pair of Comfort Z. Now these are stability shoes, so they're uh, usually a bit heavier. They're on there at 341 grams. Uh, we'll go to something a little bit lighter, like these really cool uh, 65 ZMs that I really like as well. They're 302 grams, so they're significantly lighter. And we'll go on the Aeris 3 which is a popular shoe 256 grams that's not bad at all and what about the new Aeris Z 251 well they are the lightest shoe ever not a huge saving from the Aeris 3 but still quite a bit lighter one more thing I've noticed about the Aeris Z after handling it for a few more minutes is how it's just got a little bit more lateral twist in it than the Aeris 3. It feels a little bit softer, perhaps a little bit more forgiving, um, and even a, just a little bit more bend here. Um, it's still got the same power graphite plate in there, which is really solid um, and really helps with the energy transfer and all that kind of stuff. And it's made a real feature out of it on this shoe. But it is just a little bit more twisty, a little bit more bendy. Um, but I guess that will just make him more comfortable. Uh, can't wait to get some into stock. Uh, and I'll definitely, after seeing these, be getting a pair for myself.